Hey everybody, this is Bruce Decker from Zoomasis, and I'm here with Bob Kalakeva and Al Metz of Scott Electric. Uh, they're going to tell us a little bit about what they've been doing with JBase. And so, Al, why don't you kick it off, or Bob, either one, tell us a little bit about Scott Electric. Yeah, Scott Electric's the wholesale electrical distributor. We were founded in 1946, and we serve a customer base of electrical contractors throughout Pennsylvania, Maryland, West Virginia, New York, and Ohio. And um, we're an employee-owned company, and we're known for our huge in-stock inventory and extremely low prices. All right. And Al, how long have you guys used the Shims platform? Since the early 90s. Since the early 90s. And tell us a little bit about how you've customized Shims to serve your business needs. Uh, we were happy with our decision whenever we chose Shims, uh, but we decided to modify the order and bidding processes uh, first, uh, tailor the software for our business philosophy and the specific needs of, of the customers. Um, we also enhanced the purchasing and inventory management systems, again, tailoring to our needs. Um, we've also modified accounts payable, accounts receivable procedures. Um, in summary, uh, the past 30 years, we've, te we've tweaked uh, just about every aspect of the SHIM system, customizing it to uh, our unique business. Good deal. Um, and so probably the thing that is such a great fit between Scott and Shims is the fact that it was customizable and it's doing exactly what you guys need it to do and will continue to do that in the future. Yeah, that is correct. Okay. So how did you run across JBase? Um, while attending one of the Shims meetings, um, I ran into uh, Bruce Decker and his group uh, and he introduced me to JBase and uh, quickly realized that it was a perfect fit for our future needs. Good deal. And so in that period of time when you were looking at options, what other things did you look at for, for uh, Scott Electric? Uh, we looked at uh, Infor products and uh, also Rocket Universe. Got it. And uh, what made you choose JBase over the other options? I think uh, JBase offered the promise of uh, building modern graphical applications uh, using the REST services on the back end. Uh, and we didn't want to get rid of the 30 plus years of business logic that Alan spent uh, developing. So we, we thought that would be a good fit to, to hook into the modern and the, the, uh, the legacy system. Good deal. And the framing on this camera is a little bit narrow. So uh, if I could, if you guys could get real cozy when, uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks for that. Um, so, you perform the migration pretty much on your own and uh, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, the transition uh, to JBase uh, from my perspective, you know, was relatively easy. Um, if I had to put a number on it, I'd say within six months, I was very confident uh, using JBase. Good deal. And um, what advantages are you seeing at this point in time being on JBase versus your old platform? Advantages. Um, or easier backups, uh, being that it's uh, you can use the system backups. It's AIX Linux uh, backup utilities like RSync. Uh, the printer management has been a lot easier for us, and uh, obviously the big advantage of uh, the JBase RESTful services and being able to hook into our backend data. Excellent. So you have a big new exciting project that you've just launched, and we're excited to hear about it. Uh, do you want to launch on that? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we uh, recently launched uh, on April 1st of 2019 uh, our Scott Electric website and online ordering system, and it 100% uses JBase RESTful services to uh, present our data to the front end and take data from our front end to move it to the back end and place orders. Uh, and the customer can pretty much put on an order and it will print using a lot of uh, Alan's legacy programs that he didn't have to rewrite much of, and uh, we're pretty happy with it. Good deal. And what technology did you use to build the front end part? Front end is the main stack, so uh, all JavaScript based, Node.js, uh, AngularJS, uh, Mongo to store some some front end data stuff. And uh, I like that because uh, we get the JSON objects back from the RESTful services. So really, I'm working strictly with JavaScript the whole way through. Good deal. And so you mentioned RESTful services. Uh, that was probably one of the big uh, features of JBase that certainly excited you as a new developer. Um, tell us how that ties in 
to the existing SHIMS business logic? Yeah, I write, um, I, I find out what I need, what kind of data I need on the front end, what I need to send to the to back end to make things happen. And I will ask Al to write a subroutine for me, or maybe we've already got a legacy subroutine written and I just need to, to, to write a little manipulate, manipulation to the code to make it work and then uh, post up to that, to that uh, call and, uh, and uh, the data goes from the front end to the back end. Good deal. So um, how long ago did you take this live? I think you said April 1st. Yes. And since then, um, what's the reaction from your customers? Reaction has been great. Um, within hours of launching, we had several several orders, uh, over 150 users subscribed, and it's just been growing steadily ever since. So it's 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 pretty great. Good deal. And don't forget to stay close together, so you don't. Yeah, that's right. I know you two work closely together, so there's a good symbol there. Um, Management. Um, obviously, they launched it. They're probably hoping for the best. And how are they feeling about things at this point in time? You yourself know that management here is a tough sell. Um, but uh, actually, this is one thing that they, when we launched it, they were pretty happy at the results we've gotten. And uh, I don't think they could be happier. We've gotten great. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Well, we're going to jump into a demo here in the next segment. And um, Thanks guys, uh, folks hang on, we're gonna switch to the demo segment. It's gonna be the uh, Scott Electric online ordering demo. Again, strictly RESTful services uh, using JBase on the back end there. So uh, the first thing I think to point out, we have this uh, category-based system here where we wanted our customers to be able to drill down uh, through specific categories. So we've got uh, boxes and closures, for example, uh, fittings. Now, all this here is controlled on the back end in uh, our shim system. Um, and I'm just making a rest call to get this data. And I can actually show you that call here via Postman. So here you can see it returns a JSON object with the categories. So what you're saying, Bob, is you've got the front end website that you built in uh, your front end technology. You're making calls across the network back into your shim system and making requests. And then you're using those responses from those requests to actually uh, build out the screen experience here for the end user. Um, so I, that's pretty much what we do to handle every kind of uh, every kind of action on this site. Uh, we're just going to take you through uh, registering as a customer. And again, the same kind of thing that uses these REST calls, and we'll show you how that takes place. So being, being that we're a wholesale electrical distributor, uh, we don't want to show all of our pricing to the general public. So uh, if you have an account with us, that's how you get access to your full, your full pricing and availability. So right now, I'm going to pretend like I'm an account here, and I'm going to go into the back end and we can show you how that ties in here with the bridge. Okay. So right now what Al's doing is he's gonna add uh, an email address here for access. Be okay, that's kind of like a JC at that time. For web access. Uh, we just created this uh, web account access where we put a name and an email address and that's what triggers the uh, login for the customer. So if you don't have that, you can't log in as, as our customer. So that, that tie in there is what connects them back into our, our AccuTerm system here. Um, I'm gonna actually add a new one here. Uh, 
Okay, so now that that's added, we go back here. Can you hear with step four to register? So I'm just going to say. And I'm going to say I have a Scott Electric account number. I'm going to put in that account number 310 and register. So what that did there is that actually made a REST call back into our JBase system, authenticated that that uh, account was associated with that email address, and uh, I created a JSON um, token on my end using the, the front end software. So we're authenticated now, uh, and you can see this. This is pulling uh, account numbers. Uh, this is this is another REST call. This is pulling shipping addresses for this customer. So they've got three ship twos on the system. Uh, and in order to uh, continue with uh, shopping here, we have to pick one. So let's pick the first yeah. one. Let's pick this test customer ship two that we created here. And we can start shopping. Now at this point, we can go to we can go to the search. We can type something. Uh, you know. Um, Romex, common uh, wire in our industry here. So I'm going to add. Well, another thing I'd like to point out here too, uh, we found that uh, sometimes not not everybody calls calls things the same thing. So I added this "What do you call it?" feature to allow our customers to actually suggest terms. Um, to us, and then that we can then we can add that into the search. So um, I'm just going to add one of these. And we'll go here to check out. You can see how this works. Yeah. Here's my cart. Proceed to check out. Um, This is actually going to put on a live order. That's why I had to put that test order in there. So let me do uh, pickup, purchase order, and test order. Uh, so you can see here, uh, this is actually another. Um, Another REST call that goes out and looks at our customer accounts and calculates whether or not they get any kind of a discount. So this is back in on pulling that back from the JBase system, and then I use that to calculate the ultimate price here. So when I click a REST call back to JBase uh, with all of my order information, uh, we've got a subroutine on, on the JBase side that's going to take that information and place, place the order on our system basically using the same exact logic that we've had for the last 30 years. So we didn't really have to rewrite much of the, the order entry system there. And then every. Yeah, so you're, you're saying, Bob, and and you'll get into this in a minute. You may I might be jumping the gun, but you're going to kind of explain how Al, who's had a lot of years of experience with the back end logic, the business logic and how you wrote the front end and then how you two work together to make sure that you're using all his knowledge and all the existing business logic. So have I jumped ahead? I mean, that's that, exactly that's correct. Yes. You hit the nail right on the head there. So right. uh, place order, and then we can, you can see what happens here. So after looking at Al's uh, code on the back end, would you say he's pretty smart? Oh, absolutely. All right. And Al, after looking at all the sexy screens he's just showed us, would you say he's pretty smart? Oh, great. All right. This is what we like to see. All right, go on, show us more. Yeah, so we're, we're very happy with that. So you can see here we've got a confirmation number. Uh, it's 2570778. Uh, I'm going to jump over here to our back end system and uh, let Al, Al drive here. So this would be our order entry experience, uh, you know, from the screens. We'll show you that order just got created. There was the last one. So this actually created the order with all the information that uh, Bob provided. And as you can see, it's filled out there. And uh, there's the item and prices listed up there. Excellent. It's actually printed in 
Yeah, it was actually a pickup order that printed in the branch that it was supposed to print. Without anybody handling it, so. Yeah, no interaction whatsoever. That's what management's happy about here. Good deal. And so would you say, just translating that into dollars and cents, there's less time that the staff needs to actually handle an order now, and customers are just getting what they need faster at less cost to Scott Electric and ultimately less cost to them. Exactly. Good deal. Okay, so uh, we also want to uh, show off a little bit of the reporting stuff that you guys put into this customer experience. Show us that. Yeah, so uh, that one of the main features that we're happy with about JBase uh, is the fact that it can work with uh, significant amounts of data in a, in a, with a lot of speed. So uh, one thing that our custom, we wanted to give our customers was access to their order history. And uh, we actually have seven years of historical data on our system, and that's what we're gonna allow this customer to see. This is one of our larger customers. So if I go up here to the order history, again, this is a rest, rest call back into JBase. And right now it's loading the seven years of historical data. And you can see there, it didn't take very long at all. And this, all, this goes all the way back to Two thousand and twelve. So this is this customer's orders all the way back to two thousand and twelve, um, pulling the legacy data, everything that was already in the JBase system, and uh, I can now that I've got it out here on the front end, I can sort, yeah, you know, what was invoiced. I can filter by stock orders, direct orders, web orders, and then I can also export this to a uh, CSV file to allow the customer to download. Well, this is exciting, not just because it looks great, not just because it would be nice, uh, a nice experience for the customer, but it seems to me like this is going to have a huge impact on the workload that your workers need to carry. Exactly. Yeah, they can uh, now the customer can go. Maybe maybe our customers, were, our customers actually would call in a lot uh, for this kind of information and uh, now they can go and uh, get it themselves. Has anybody within your organization noticed, um, at least for these customers, that they're starting to self-service their information requests more and it's it's freeing up their time or is it still too early to tell? I think it's a little early to tell. I've had a few, a few of these customers actually, uh, a few of their salesmen actually tell me that this was the feature that they've been wanting for a while and they, they were happy to use it. So um, yeah, it's this kind of thing that the customer asked us for. So we want to make it available to them so that they don't have to contact our people and have our people do the work to provide that for them. And as you can see, for the amount of data that we just provided with this REST call, I mean, it was all built on the back end, it comes to Bob and it's, it's right there for them relatively quick. Excellent, so all this served up from JBase in Lickety Split and customers, when they can get information this quickly, why would they even pick up the phone? Absolutely. Well, good. Um, the, I guess on the tail end of this section, I was also going to ask you, what's next? What What are you guys uh, What are you guys thinking about? What do you want to tackle now? Now that you've been empowered with uh, a pathway to actually use all the existing business logic, but actually carry it forward in new and creative ways. What's next? Yeah, we're actually uh, in talks now to uh, develop an app. I'm looking into uh, React Native to do that. So uh, do an app. Uh, we, we do vendor management uh, inventory. So basically we have our people go to the customer's site. Uh, they've, got a, they've got a warehouse full of items and they've got barcode labels on there. They wanna be able to take their smartphone, scan these barcodes and then you know, say what how much quantity they need and refill their order right there. So we're looking to do that next. Good. So uh, coming from your previous platform to here, um, any, uh, any words of advice for those that are still sitting on the edge of the pool, wondering whether this is something they should consider? I would say uh, go for it. I mean, I I think the cost benefit is is pretty uh, is pretty uh, obvious to see. Uh, you can you can use all of your existing legacy code and uh, create a pretty modern looking website with uh, minimal effort and uh, you know minimal expense. I think from my perspective, from the pick side, 
Um, it was simply writing some subroutines that actually moved data back and forth uh, between Bob's side and mine. So the, you know, the programming wasn't that, that much different than what I have done for the past 30 plus years. And then Bob, on your side, as you've worked with Al and you've peeked it under the covers of the subroutine uh, coding that he's been doing on the back end, has this paradigm with JBase allowed you to become more comfortable with how that w works on the back end of shims? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I had zero pick experience before before this project, and uh, early on, it was pretty easy to see that the the main benefit of it was speed. You know, I'm familiar with NoSQL architecture, and um, you know, this is much like a NoSQL system here, and uh, the speed is really is really the benefit. And I've you know, I I kind of get in here and I write I take out subroutines and then I kind of write the RESTful services part of it. So it's kind of allowed me the chance to learn a little bit on the, on the JBase side as well. So I'm happy about that. I think vice versa. I think absolutely I'll seen some stuff on my end now that he's, he's able to, to use. So would you say that uh, in terms of uh, one thing that a lot of companies are looking at right now is they've got a, a good proven working system. It's considered legacy. Um, the guy who's been there for a couple decades has been in charge of it, and the the concern is how do we hand that legacy off to the next generation of programmers? I think what you guys have done have kind of demonstrated that this is actually quite achievable, and this project demonstrates it. But Al, how do you feel about your ability to be able to hand the baton if someday you decide to go fishing? Oh yeah, I'm excited about it. Um, you know, it makes it look uh, I'll use the word sexy. Uh, it's what everybody wants to see, and um, you know I'm just extremely excited about it. Good. And Bob, I guess since you're more familiar now with the back end, it's not intimidating, and you feel like you could grab hold of this and carry it forward. Yeah, I mean it's just uh, it's just a matter of getting the syntax down, and uh, you know now that I've been in there, it's it's relatively easy. I mean it's just procedural, and um, you know I'm 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 pretty confident. Good deal. Well, anything in passing that you want to add as a cherry on top for your fellow SHIMS users or people looking at JBase in general? Uh, I just want to say, you know, working with you, Bruce, has been uh, has been a real pleasure, and I think the process was easy and smooth from our perspective. Dan L came out and helped us with the implementation, and uh, actually, yeah, we got uh, plenty of support uh, from Zoomasis on the whole JBase installation, and uh, you know, I was, we were very pleased with how smoothly everything went get us to this point so that we could actually do something exciting like this. Excellent. Well, guys, thank you for uh, doing some amazing things with our technology. Uh, for us, we do a lot of, uh, you know, we build the back end, we build uh, the JBase technology itself, but it really is exciting when we see folks actually making it happen out there in the real world. So, and, and really taking it uh, in some cases, like what you guys have done beyond what we had even, even imagined. So nice work, great partnership, and thanks for being a customer. Thank you. I hope, uh, hope it inspires some of the other Shim, SHIMS users out there to take it to the next level. All right, and you'll be at the next SHIMS meeting, right? Absolutely. <laughs> right. Put you on the spot. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys.